and then next i'm gonna get into storage like food storage i got this pack of what's up youtube welcome back it's your girl kiana marie and i am back with another video so today we're going to be doing a college dorm supply haul this is one of my most requested videos because i know everyone struggles to shop for back to school some schools don't give out lists some do i'm moving into a college apartment but this does apply for a dorm because i do got some dorm essentials so i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got if you had checked out my last video you know that i got quite a few things you will see some of them here in the background i have an entire like stash behind me so i'm gonna try to speed through these as quick as possible and show you guys what i got all right so the first thing that i'm gonna start off with is bedding like that includes sheets anything comfort wise anything that goes on your bed i'm just gonna start off with that so the first item that i have is this back pillow nobody told me this while i was in college the pillows that you have matter because your back is going to start killing you when you get on that twin xl after a long day yeah sometimes it might be comfortable but sitting up doing your homework in bed it hurts especially since they don't have headboards so getting a back pillow is definitely recommended i got this from burlington it has a phone pocket in it as well so i could just put my phone in it when i'm studying or whatever and i'm trying to look for the price on this price was 11.99 you guys know i was not joking when i said everything in this video is going to be affordable most places sell it for about 30 dollars. and yeah on to the next item all right so next thing that i got is this well i got two of them actually I got these pillows from Walmart. They were like $6 or like $5, something like that. They're by the brand Mainstays. It's extra firm, just generic pillows for side sleepers. I got two. I recommend getting two pillows for your bed if you're going to college because one pillow just isn't going to cut it. The way that you sleep really matters. You'll be grumpy if you wake up in the morning with a backache. They have them for back sleepers as well, or like whatever side you sleep on. I sleep on my side, so I got these ones. The next two items that I got are these plush throws from bj's i absolutely love them i got the two pack for 14.97 i got this last year for my dorm as well i didn't know they still had the deal so i went to look most places sell one throw blanket for like 20 dollars. so this is a pretty good deal if you have a bj's card use it i got this one with a set of these nice grays and then i also got one with a set of light gray because my room is going to be gray, white, and black. I really like the silver tone, so I might change it up from time to time, depending on the shade of the gray. I don't really like this checkered one, so I might give it to my boyfriend because I don't like it. I feel like it looks boyish. It looks too manly. I got a princess room, so yeah. Make sure you get these affordable blankets. If you have a BJ's card, you don't got no excuse. All right, so the next item that I got for my bed was this soft microfiber sheet set. I got this from Walmart. It fits a twin and a twin XL. My school has twin XLs, so depending on what size it is, most schools have only twin beds, so this should fit perfectly. It was exactly $12.97. It comes with a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and one standard pillowcase. I buy my pillowcases like separate, so that's perfectly fine because I change them often. Make sure that you have at least two sheet sets if your bedding gets dirty. And you want to wash it you're not going to be without bedding until like it finishes washing while you're at college so make sure you have something to replace it pretty easily and that you have extras all right so if you know me you know i like my bed to be very high i'm talking like up here i like my bed to be high i got these bed risers from walmart.com they were like 13 dollars, i think or 12 dollars. because most of the time in college the beds are like really low i naturally have a high bed at home so i wanted to rise my bed up and i think this is included in bedding because it's for the bed, but I don't know. All right, so the last but definitely not least thing that I got for my room, well, bedding, is this Dr. Teal's sleep spray. I remember like last year or like the year before, everybody was going crazy over this and then they sold it all out. And the people that still had them left, they were selling it like for $30 on different websites. So they brought it back. It was $5.99 at Walmart. It's for a body mist, room spray, or like bedding. It smells so good. I used it once before it helped me sleep really well so i got this for my dorm because i don't want to keep taking melatonin all the time you can also use it as like a bedding refresher to make your bed smell good so yeah so that is everything that i got for the bedding section so next section is eating slash cooking utensils i'm not gonna include my microwave and my fridge in this because i already have those i'm telling y'all about the things that i just got so first off we're gonna start off with the most generic thing that you need eating while you're in college some damn paper plates i got a uh, 
150 count from Walmart. This is a great value brand. This was like $2. The reason why you need this, it's going to be some days where you really just don't want to wash dishes. It's that simple because every time you have a snack or something, you're going to need a dish. Sometimes you don't want to wash dishes. So if you have a snack and you just want to pour it out, get some paper plates and then going right with that i also got myself some paper cups i don't know they just fell out the bag i got myself some paper cups I'm gonna need these as well like i said sometimes you just don't want to do dishes always have these in handy just in case and i also got some plastic eating utensils i got these from the dollar store for a dollar 30 something it's 48 pieces it comes with 16 forks 16 knives and 16 spoons just basic eating utensils and then next, I'm going to get into storage, like food storage. I got this pack of... Oh my God. Okay, let me set my camera back up. Wow. Okay, y'all saw that. I got this pack of um, storage dishes for food. I plan to cook while I'm in college, so I figured it would be better to get something that I could put my food in. I took the stickers off because I actually recorded this video yesterday, and it didn't work out. I didn't like the quality. It was really bad, so I figured to actually get set up in my living room and do it properly so I could give you guys some good content. So this is what they look like. They're a pretty good size. I made it so that if I cook and there's some extra food, I could meal prep or I could save it later for the week, you know, save money, not throw away a whole bunch of food. So I got that. This was like, this was $3 and something at Walmart. I forgot the exact price of it, but yeah. Next up, I got this super cute water bottle. Y'all, I got this from Five Below. It was $4 or $5. It is so cute. It comes with this little like push nozzle thing you can open it by has this so you could attach it to your bag or whatever and it has like the times in total it's 40 ounces the marker stops at 30 but it's 40 and then it has like the times from 9 a.m to 6 p.m so i'm getting this because i need to drink more water and i want to carry my water around with me pretty durable and yeah it was only five dollars so make sure you go to five below five below has some great things for college freshmen or just anybody in college because it's really cheap and it's actually good quality so next i got these really generic bowls i got these from walmart they were 50 cents each at my walmart get some bowls to make noodles in highly recommend getting your eating utensils at walmart it's way cheaper and they're very durable they're refrigerator safe dishwasher safe and microwave safe speaking of walmart i also got these cups in gray i'm trying to make everything that i get match the color of my room i got three of these they're apparently called tumblers i'm, I'm gonna just use them as cups i don't know what a tumbler is and yeah these were 50 cents at walmart as well so to actually cook all of this food i well i didn't get it my aunt went and got this aunt sadie if you're watching this thank you so much i love it she got me this um rice cooker I think she got it on Amazon. It was about like $30. It was really good. Yeah, I already started using it because, duh, I need to see how it works. I really recommend getting a rice cooker just because if you want to make home-cooked meals, it's pretty easy to and you don't need a stove or nothing. You could just do it in the comfort of your own room. It can cook any grain. So I'm probably going to try to make oatmeal in this next. And I highly recommend this if you're in college because it makes it so much easier. So yeah, I love it, Aunt Sadie. Thank you. I really like it. So next item that I got cooking wise is this air fryer. You can make practically anything in an air fryer. A rice cooker and an air fryer are two things I highly recommend you get because it just helps so much. And I don't know how much this was. I, I have no idea. That's, that's probably the only thing during this haul that I don't know. So the next category that I'll be going into is like dorm room decor and this is probably my most favorite item out of the entire haul i got this giant rug so yeah i got this ginormous rug for my bedroom i feel like a rug is something that adds like a nice like homey kind of vibe to a dorm sometimes dorms just don't give off that nice cozy feeling it was originally 20 dollars, but i got it during prime day if you don't know what that is black friday for people who have amazon prime that's when i got it i got it for 12 dollars on sale the next dorm decoration kind of like items that i got were these really cute photo frames i got these from walmart they are size 8 by 10 I got two of these silver ones and then one black one. I plan to use command strips to put them up onto my wall, but you can also use these and just put them on a desk or something. And they were only like $2.50 each. The thing that I got was this really cute LED sign from Five Below. It didn't work. I have to go exchange it. It was $5. It's this really cute LED sign that says love. It's not small either. The only problem that I have with like lighting from Five Below is that sometimes it might be defective. So highly recommend still looking and seeing if you find a good one. So another room item that I got from Five Below was this two-tier garment rack. It has a place where you could like 
place things oh. under like shoes or whatever and then it has two tiers that you can hang things on this was literally only ten dollars ten dollars it's always good to have extra storage in your dorm sometimes you run out it happens it'll help you a whole bunch so that way even if you do run out of storage you'll still have something that can help you out carrying on with things that i got for my room i got this really cute poster from five below i'm gonna let y'all guess how much it was five dollars and it just has a woman it's kind of like simple wall art i'm gonna hang this on the back of my door five below is a great place to get posters if you want dorm decorations but you don't want to spend a whole bag definitely check out the posters that they have there well, next up i kind of got this like little storage canister from walmart it was literally only three dollars i took the stickers off because like i said i did try to do this video before i think i want to store like cotton pads in this or something else but you definitely want to look up things to get storage on your desk or your dresser because you don't want to just have things splattered out like that unless you do i don't know i got these at the dollar store it was these like flower bouquets that were like a dollar each just the flower sticks this vase was a dollar and then this pack of stones was two dollars i figured that i'm gonna make my own like room decoration a little vase i want it to be pink to add like a touch of color to my room and i got the rocks so that i could pour them into the vase after and it'll look so beautiful another thing that i got for my room is candles you guys know that i love 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 candles most colleges and universities don't allow them I still got candles anyway. So first up, I have this by my, one of my favorite candle brands, the Net Lepore. This scent is sugared citrus. It smells absolutely amazing. Next, I have this vanilla oak candle. I got this from Target. The Net Lepore one was $8. I got this from Target for $5. It is supposed to be $10, but they messed up the price on the scanner. So they had to give it to me for what it scanned for, which is five. This is more like a masculine scent, I would say. It is vanilla, but it smells more masculine with the oak. And then I also got these two Walmart candles. This one is strawberry dandelion. It's a really sweet scent. And this one is the classic vanilla. I love this scent. This is like the scent that I use all the time for candles. And each of the Walmart candles were $3.89. So next up for room supplies, I got a set of hangers. This 10 pack of hangers was $2.74. Don't ask me how I remember the prices. I have photographic memory. You always need extra hangers. You always need extra hangers. Always have them on backup just in case because sometimes your hangers will break. They'll break suddenly. You won't even notice. So always make sure you have a backup pack of hangers. The lighting changed because it got darker outside. I had gotten another candle that smells really good. It is this banana nut candle. It smells exactly like banana bread. It is so good. It was also $3.89 at Walmart. And then the next section that I will be moving into is toiletries and bathroom supplies. Starting off with bathroom and toiletries. I have everything in this trash can this counts as like room and bathroom I'm probably gonna use it for my room i got the trash can for 2.97 at walmart i'm gonna start off with something that i feel like every college student should get you are gonna be sharing a bathroom all of our bodies make odors and stuff when we go it's pretty normal get you some poopery don't don't do that to the next person don't do it all of you should get poopery it makes it 10 times easier for everybody i got this one the stars and spritz one from macy's backstage i'll this 64 count pack of liner girls and you know anyone having a period Make sure that you pack your products. Don't go to school like unprepared. Make sure you pack all your hygiene products. Anything that you're thinking, oh, I might not need that, you're gonna need it. So just pack it just in case. Worst case scenario, the first time you go home, bring them back. That's it. Next, I got this small little trash can. It's silver. I got this from Walmart for $12.97. The pack of liners was like $2. You could get stuff like that anywhere. But this small little trash can, I'm probably gonna put it in the bathroom. Next for bathroom stuff i got this pack of toothbrushes for three dollars at the dollar store it's just a pack of oral b um hard bristle toothbrushes these are the ones that i use always make sure you have extra toothbrushes in case you have guests next i got this crest sparkling minty toothpaste i got this for like two dollars at walgreens because i coupon so most of the stuff that i'm showing you guys anything from walgreens my entire total was 17 dollars. next up i got this bathroom brush from walmart it was for three dollars i got this liquid soap dispenser from the dollar store for like a dollar 39 and then i also got a milk and honey like hand soap always get like a giant soap refill don't get like the little packets of soap because then you're gonna always have to keep buying them the next bathroom item that i got is this Colgate 2-in-1 um, toothpaste and mouthwash whitening gel. I got this for a dollar at Walgreens once again at Coupon. And then next up, I have my favorite mouthwash ever. If you know about this mouthwash, then you know. But it is the TheraBrush mouthwash. I got the invigorating icy mint because it was on sale. It was for $6 and usually all of them are eight. So I don't know. And I usually use all of them. I recommend the sparkly mint, the any of the blue ones the green one tastes disgusting that's my personal preference but yeah all right so these items i don't know if they're still considered bathroom but i'm just gonna name them i got these 
two um degree dry protection deodorants this is the deodorant that i use i recommend getting two packs or like i said if you have a bj's card getting a five pack these two came out of the five pack i only needed two i left the other ones at home i only needed two next up i have this tresemme two pack of shampoo and conditioner i got this for 9.99 at bj's i need a big pack like this because one i'm a wig influencer and two i need to wash my wigs and the other items that i got that i don't know if they're considered bathroom were these bar soaps i got usually these are like five dollars for each i got both of them for 4.90 something no not 4.90 something i got both of these for three dollars for my coupons from walgreens the scent is coconut and hibiscus these are really good and they smell absolutely amazing and then next i got these natural bar soaps from marshall's they were 3.99 each they smell good one of them has goat's milk and then the other one is kind of like a body scrub bar with rose petals and apricot and then oh i forgot to mention the five pack of deodorant was ten dollars something at bj the next thing that i got was this honey pot feminine wash i got this at marshall's actually usually it's about 10 to 13 dollars for it i got it from marshall's for 5.99 not 5.99 6.99 you can see right there i heard it works really good after your cycle and stuff so i'm gonna try it out just because next up i got these for my face it's just a pack of cotton pads i got this for a dollar 38 at walmart and that pretty much concludes like the toiletry section next i'm gonna get into like personal care items or what i think is personal care these are just hair products i got these two tresemme um high hold hairsprays from walgreens i got both of them for two dollars like combined because of my coupons i got this curling mousse for 5.59 at the hair store i need this for my curly wigs just to make sure that i stock up on my hair products i don't want to get to school and then have to find substitutes because where i go to school it's a pwi and there's absolutely no beauty supply stores out there except sally's and sally's did not sell everything that i want and then another hair care item that I got was a small shimmer light shampoo. I don't plan to bleach like a lot of wigs. If I do, I'll get the bigger one. But I got this just because I was in a rush and they ran out of the big one. It was $3.99. I used this to tone my knots when I bleach my wigs. So I figured it was good to have. Another thing that I got were these two really, really good smelling um like body sprays. This one is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. I paid $5.99 for this. It was at this like fashion store. They were doing a sale on all fragrances. It was 40% off. And then I got Eris by Paris Hilton. These are like really good layering scents because I do like expensive perfumes as well. I just like to layer them with good scents. This one is like vanilla, like sugary kind of based. And this one, I don't know how to explain it. It smells like a coach perfume if it was like in a body mist. And that pretty much concludes all of my other dorm hall items. The last section, and it's probably gonna be the smallest section. Y'all gonna laugh at me for this, but we are going to move on to school supplies. All right, so first up, I got this pack of three 64 gigabyte sd cards i have a personal preference i don't like to store my schoolwork on my actual computer i like to keep it on a drive just in case because i do be running out of storage with youtube i need i need to get a camera i know but i do run out of storage with youtube because i store everything on my computer so i figured to get these i got this entire pack for like eight dollars on prime day usually it's about eighteen dollars and then next i got just this 75 cent pack of index cards i got this from target you could get index cards anywhere my baby sister real quick so i'm just gonna finish these up and then finish the video all right so the next item that i got are these translucent sticky notes i got them for four dollars on amazon during like prime day usually they're about eight basically what you can do with them they're completely clear and i suggest using a pen to write on them because pencil doesn't really show up that well you could use them to like trace models if you have like textbook things that you want to put right into your notebook but you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time drawing just put them over it use it to trace i also got this like two dollar pack of pens from walmart the big pens are the only pens that i recommend to use on the translucent sticky notes other pens do smudge and then i got this positivity is powerful notebook from five below it was five dollars and basically it has like a whole bunch of things in it like date what did i do today how did i do today my gratitude did i sleep well did i exercise did i meditate that I eat nourishing food and like things that you want to be for the day. So I figured it was really good to get. And then last but not least, I got these very generic notebooks from Walmart. They were each like about 50 or 25 cents. These ones were 25 cents. The composition ones were 50. And that is the end of my dorm haul. It's everything that I got from my college dorm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I don't have a dorm this year. I have an apartment, but dorm slash apartment supplies, it's interchangeable. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell me your favorite affordable thing from this haul. Love you. Bye.